Hey guys, it's me, Too Legit City, and today we're going to be checking out a Aqua Tuner build. We are going to be doing a no steel, no plastic Aqua Tuner build. However, there are some other requirements you need, but it does mean that you don't need steel, don't need plastic, and all you need is gold. And uh, yeah, we'll go over this build right now. So for the most part, let's pause the game. This is currently being used to chill my food. This is my pipeline automate or my pipelines. Um, you can see we're running petroleum to cool down my foods right there. Not really going to talk about what we're using it for the food storage. We're really just going to be talking about the build in and of itself, how it works, the automation behind it, which is probably going to be the most important part. And of course, the things that you need in order to have something like this work. Now, for the most part, it's basically the idea we have a aqua tuner here that's made out of gold amalgam you actually don't even need gold amalgam for that the only thing you need is to have the pump be made out of gold that's the only requirement and also the liquid reservoir but the aqua tuner itself doesn't need to be gold as it's submerged in water now conceptually a aqua tuner is allowed to be flooded and still works and when that happens, we are actually putting in water in all nine tiles, flooding it and having the water absorb the heat that the aqua tuner would otherwise generate. That's going to be attached to a element sensor so that the water always goes to the top and a thermal sensor, meaning that once the temperature of the water gets over a certain threshold, you would be able to have that trigger and then we'll be able to remove that water and put in some fresh water in my case it's at 20 degrees so to get it started let's talk about the doors so we'll show you guys automation later in its full glory but we'll talk about what's supposed to happen so we have three doors and the main purpose of this is because we wanted a vacuum in the middle this is because the vacuum in the middle makes it so that the heat from the top and bottom has no transfer. So that makes it so that once we dump the water and put in cold water, the cold water will not get heated up by the hot water that's at the bottom. That's a main benefit so that we could utilize the thermal energy in the water for longer. That's a little bit of an efficiency thing right there. But uh, basically, we have these two sensors on a AND gate. And what happens is that that goes into a buffer gate, which basically sends the signal to keep the doors open. That sends into another OR gate right here that keeps the door open. And then after the buffer closes, all the doors shut off at the same time. That makes it so that we could close the vacuum, create a vacuum, and then afterwards we only open the middle door is how the, op uh, the automation works. Now, of course, there is a sensor on the valve, meaning that this will only allow water in once there is the two criteria met. And that is either A, that there is no water on this tile, which is why we have a not gate on that. And then B, there is no doors opened so that the water doesn't spill into the hot bucket. That's the bottom automation right here. But that is what we have for... Um, the beginning we're setting 70 degrees for the baseline for the door to open we'll actually run through this so you guys could see what actually happens when the uh, temperature goes beyond the threshold and then you guys will see how it works but we'll leave on the automation for you guys that's probably what's important this right here you could see is a and gate so we have and gate buffer this is a OR gate. This is a NOT gate. This is a filter. This is a NOT, and this is a AND gate as well. So that's all we need. Um, this is just the Aqua Tuner automation, very simple. And then, yeah, hopefully that helps. And let's let this baby rock. So we're gonna actually trigger it above is how it's set. So we're gonna make it so that it's at 20 degrees. all the doors open because the door opens the aqua tuner shuts off because the tile below it is missing now after all that spills out there's my buffer gates all closes the aqua tuner is good again and then after the automation opens up the middle again 
This allows you to maintain a vacuum as I described earlier in the build. And now you could see that we're adding in water. The water is actually coming in from here so that we always have at least five tons of water ready to be dumped in. So uh, five tons of water only gets this much. So we do need that water line attached. Now, the main thing to have here is a water source. You need a water source of some kind. In my case, I'm using polluted water, sieving it, and then we're using that to go into the aqua tutor. Now, you guys might be wondering, now what do you do with the hot water? What happens here at the bottom? We actually pump up this hot water right here to the electrolyzer system. So down here, we have a pipeline on priority, meaning that the hot water here always gets to the electrolyzers first. So that's actually why we chose 70 degrees because 70 degrees is the exact temperature where you don't heat up the oxygen higher than 70. So anything lower than 70 degree water heats up the oxygen in the electrolyzer to the base 70. But if you put hotter water in, the oxygen actually turns out to be hotter as well. So at 70 degrees, it's the most efficient. That way, if I do need to cool my oxygen that I create, it's not hotter than it should be. But this is the build. Hopefully it helps you guys. And of course, if you guys have any questions, um, video ideas, anything you guys would like to see, please leave a comment down below. And of course, guys, don't forget to like and subscribe.